Hi, Penny Lane here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to map your job tread cost codes to your products and services in QuickBooks Online and talk about the account mapping in QuickBooks Online. But first, I want to touch a little bit on cost items. It's important to understand that cost items and cost codes are not the same thing in job tread and understand their role. To get to the cost items, click the catalog from the left menu bar and make sure that you're on the cost items tab. In this example, my cost items and cost codes are pretty much the same, but oftentimes that's not going to be the case. The cost items are what you actually use to build the budgets in JobTread. We don't use the cost codes directly usually, but cost items. That's because we can have an expanded list of cost items that all mapped back to one cost code in JobTread. For example, with framing materials, I might have cost items called two by fours and fasteners. And those are all framing materials and they'll all map back to the same cost code. It's here inside the cost item that I'm gonna to map to a cost code in JobTread. It's really important to make sure that every cost item in JobTread is mapped to a cost code or you're gonna have syncing issues with QuickBooks Online. Notice too that I have a cost item type. Let's take a look at what those cost item types mean. To get there, click on settings from the left menu bar, then click job costing. Scroll down a little. The cost item types are just a way for us to allocate certain attributes to cost items. For example, our cost type called labor is time trackable. Only cost items marked time trackable will be available for employees to choose when they're entering their time. This is great because it keeps the whole item list off of their choice. We also can allow for different margins for different cost items. Let's say we had a different margin on our materials than our labor. We can set that up here. You can also assign different sales tax statuses to different cost items through this cost type. Now let's get to mapping the job tread cost codes to the products or services in QuickBooks Online. To get there, click settings, integrations tab, QuickBooks Online, and then choose the product service mapping option from the left. Notice that we've got some defaults to choose here. This is just in case you have some unmapped cost items in JobTread. You still want them to show up somewhere in QuickBooks Online. Sometimes for the default product or service, you'll choose something like uncategorized or unmapped. That allows you to identify those items when they show up in QuickBooks. Here is also where you're gonna choose a product or service in QuickBooks Online, where you want your cost plus fees to show up in QuickBooks Online. Down below, we have our mapping of our job tread cost codes to our products or services in QuickBooks Online. In this example, I have pretty much a one-to-one -one situation. So for each job tread cost code, I have a product or service in QuickBooks Online but I can change this and keep it so that I have a simple cost code in JobTread, for example. And by expanding out my JobTread cost types, I can add, I can map to multiple products and services in QuickBooks Online. So for example, I might wanna map, I might wanna have one cost code in JobTread called framing. And in QuickBooks Online, I wanna map to a framing labor item and a framing material item. And this will make a little bit more sense when we get into QuickBooks Online. This is one of the main touch points between JobTread and QuickBooks Online. So you wanna make sure that every JobTread cost code is mapped to a product or service in QuickBooks Online. Now let's go over to QuickBooks Online and talk about those settings. In QuickBooks Online, to get to the products and services list, click the gear icon and then click products and services. In most cases, your products and services are gonna be set up as service item types. Let's take a look at one of them. Again, we'll use our framing materials item type. In most cases, you're gonna have service item as the type of item. Then you're gonna make sure that you have a description under the name. I like to make this the same as my job tread cost code because that makes mapping really easy and sensible. Next, make sure you have this box checked. I sell this product or service to my customers. 
and put a description here that you would have show up on any invoice in QuickBooks Online. You're gonna to wanna to map this to an income account. We're basically giving instructions to QuickBooks. When I use this product or service on a sales form, I wanted to hit job income. When we're integrated with JobTread, we're also gonna be using the product or service to record all of our costs. So we need to make sure that we have this box checked. I purchased this product or service from a vendor. Give it the description again, framing materials, and assign this to an expense or cost of goods sold account. Because these are direct job costs, I always choose cost of goods sold. In this particular example, I have my cost of goods sold accounts also built out at the cost code level, but this might just say materials cost of goods sold. And this is something to really think about, right? Because as you can see, for each product or service in QuickBooks Online, I can only assign one income account and one expense account. That might mean that I have a product or service built out in QuickBooks Online in a lot more detail than I do in JobTread. Or if I have the one-on-one, -on -one, I might have my cost codes built out in a lot of detail in JobTread. Because if I want my materials items to hit a cost of goods sold account called materials, I need to have an item for materials separate from labor, separate from subcontract, separate from other. It's just something to think about when you're setting up your products and services and when you're setting up your cost codes in JobTread and that mapping. This mapping here is really critical because this is what's going to hit your GL and this is what is going to build your financial statements. It's a pretty long journey from the cost item that is used on the budget in JobTread to the account mapping in QuickBooks Online. Make sure to put all of those pieces together when you're building out your cost items, your cost codes, and your products and services in QuickBooks Online. If you have any more questions, please contact support at jobtread.com.